afternoon. My name is Om Smith. Om and out is how you meditate. And I'm here to read Entango Mix 3 by Peter Parnell and Justin Richardson, published in 2005, most recently marked for removal in the Davis Tutala School District in 2012 because parents might find the content objectionable. There have also been previous instances of the book being challenged for promoting gay parenting. This is a beautiful book, and to really appreciate it, you have to really pay attention to the illustrations, which are absolutely beautiful. Each and every page is an adventure. The splash of color really emphasizes and causes you to feel this story. Let's begin. In the middle of New York City, there's a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. And best of all, it has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda bear pups. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins. And the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little different. One was named Roy, and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other. They walked together. They sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with girl penguins, and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsci, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Silo watched how the penguins made a home. So they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and kept them to keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle them up. The nest was nice. It was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and set and set and set. When Silo got sleepy, he slept. When Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam and Roy sat. Day after day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock. But nothing happened. Then Mr. Gramsci got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for. And he bought it and brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. Roy and 
decide they know just what to do. They move the egg to the center of their nest, and every day they turned it and turned it so each side would stay warm. Some days, Roy set where Silo went for food. Other days, it was Silo's turn to take care of the egg. They set in the morning, they set at night, and they set through lunchtime and swim time and supper. Yes. They set at the beginning of the month, they set at the end of the month, and they all set, set all the days in between. Until one day, they heard a sound coming from inside the egg. Peep, 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 it said. And Roy and Silo called back. Peep, peep, answered the egg. And then suddenly, a tiny hole appeared in the egg. And then, slowly, 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 whatever was in there started cracking the shell. And guess what happened? came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now Roy and Silo were proud of that. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Gramsci decided, because it takes two to make her Tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from her beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. first penguin in the zoo to have two dads. <laughs> Soon Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families. And all of a sudden, all their children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with other pen penguins. Hooray, Roy! They snuggled. Together? And like, <laughs> excuse me, and like all other penguins at the penguin house. And all the other animals in the zoo, and all the families in Big City around them, they went to sleep. Sorry, you want me to do that over? No, that's <laughs> wonderful. Thank you.